Hello, my name is Liesl. Today I'm going to show you how to create a seamless pattern here in Canva. So what is a seamless pattern? Well, it is a pattern that can be repeated or duplicated to create a bigger pattern without any visible seam or break in the pattern. Let me show you. To create our pattern, let's start with a square. So we will go to create a design. Custom size, I will make mine a thousand by a thousand pixels. Now you can go and search for any picture or element that you like within the elements. I'm going to use a circle, but you can use you can use anything, a leaf, a heart, a chocolate a cup of coffee, whatever you like, as long as you follow the following principles. So I'm going to click this circle over onto my um, canvas. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now very important is that this um, first image, you want to place it right in the middle of your canvas, right at the top, in the middle. And whilst you hold your mouse, make sure that it is actually placed also center so you can see that there is this uh, little dark purple line at the top and in the middle it will tell you that that it's right in the center and release now you want to duplicate it and now you're going to do exactly the same at the bottom and it's very important to pull it down until you see that little purple line at the bottom as well and in the middle because these two circles will actually connect with each other on the pattern. Okay, step one done. Now we're going to do it on the sides here as well. So we're going to put our circle down there until we see that purple line. Duplicate and exactly the same thing on the other side. Pull it over until that little purple line comes up and release. Now you can add any elements here in the middle that you would like um, to have on your pattern. The only thing that you have to remember is that nothing should touch these lines because these are the lines where your pattern will duplicate and if there's anything that's sort of halfway in there it will show a break in the pattern. Okay so now I'm just going to start playing around with all my circles to create my pattern. Now it is time to do any final changes to your pattern. So if you want to put in a specific background color or if you want to change any of um, the colors of your items, just remember that if you do change um, one of the touching images, that you have to do the color the same. Otherwise, there will definitely um, be a break in your pattern. Okay. For this one, I'm not going to change the background because I'm actually going to um, download this pattern of mine without a background so let's do that first so let's go share download transparent background this option you have on canva pro and i'm going to download it okay let's see if our design works Let, let's go and create a new design so we go to create a design i want the a4 landscape document I'm going to upload my PNG file that we've just um, exported. So uploads, and I'm going to click it over onto my um, A4 document. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to drag it right in the corner. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate and place it exactly next to the other one. Make sure that when you um, release your mouse that you're happy with the position because now when you uh, click duplicate, Canva will place it exactly in the same spot for you and duplicate again. Let's see. Oh, okay. That looks, that looks awesome. 
let's try the next one so we go duplicate again we go down one and again fabulous and let's duplicate this let's put it down there exactly duplicate again and and last one Fabulous. And just like that, you've got a seamless pattern that you can use over and over again. I will click onto any of these patterns of mine now. Layer, go to show layers. I will go and click on the background. When I do that, this color box will come up. And let's go and change the color. Put in a gradient. Or a different background color and when I do that then you can see that this is working perfectly fantastic I hope you learned something new today I hope you enjoyed this if you've got any other questions please leave a comment for me and see you next time thank you and bye bye